Hey there and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Chibi Beast from the X-Men. So let's start with the eyes. I'm going to start with a curve on top of the left eye. Starting from the outside, just curve in. And then from here we're just going to curve in the center for a little frown line. Let's do the exact same thing on the right side but just flipped over. So we start in the middle on the side. We're going to curve in towards the eye, leaving a little space in the middle here. And we'll curve out to the top of the right eye. From here let's tuck in the eyeballs underneath. So on the left side here, we're just going to step in just a little bit and curve like a half circle to the bottom of the eye and then in towards that little frown line there. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So starting at the bottom, we'll just tuck this in underneath, leaving a little overlap on the end here. In the center between the eyes, we're going to draw a little curve, just for a little extra frown. And we're going to go up and draw in the eyebrows. So he's got some really bushy eyebrows. So from this point here, we're going to curve up and out. At this point, we're going to pull this back and just taper it so it gets a little bit wider as we come down. Now we're going to switch directions. We're going to curve upwards. Curving up. Now we're going to do a couple pointed curves along the side here and then merge up with the side of the eye here. So we'll curve back. We'll curve out again a little bit further. Curve back down. Now we'll do one final one, so a little tiny one here. And we'll curve back and just touch the top of that eyelid. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So starting on the inside again. We'll curve up and out, we'll pull this back in, so again, leaving a little bit of space as we come down towards the eye, Now we're going to switch directions. We're going to curve up, and we'll pull this back down. Go out one more time, come back down, and then one little tiny one on the end, pulling out, and then tucking that in on the side there. Let's give them some eye bags. So from this point here, we're just going to curve underneath the eye on both sides. Let's go ahead and draw in a nose. So just in between the eyes, right down here, we're going to draw a little U shape from left to right. And then on the left, we're going to step down just a little bit and just curl around for the sides of the nostril on both sides. And then on the top here, we're just going to curve down for a little smile line. Just a little curve like that. From this point, let's draw in the mouth. So from here, we're going to draw a curve going left to right, coming down in the middle, and back up on the right. And we're going to curve down the sides. Curving out. Like that. We'll tuck in some fangs. So right here where we turned, we're going to curve down. Curve down and inwards. We'll pull these back up so they're getting a little bit wider as we come up, leaving a little gap at the top. We're going to connect those two tops with a curve for the top of the teeth, just across like that. Let's go ahead and draw on the bottom of the mouth. So we're going to step in on the left side here, just leave a little overlap, curve to the bottom of the mouth and just tuck this in underneath the right side. So right here on the left, we'll curve down to the middle and then we'll curve up on the right side, making sure there's a little overlap on either side. We're going to draw some teeth on the bottom. So on the left side, we're just going to draw a little curve across just to show a little bit of teeth. And we'll tuck the tongue in underneath here. So up here, we'll just curve across like that. Let's go ahead and color the inside area of the mouth black. Now that we have the mouth in place, let's go ahead to the side of the face and draw in the cheekbones. So beside the eyebrow, on either side, we're going to step over and just curve in right towards the mouth. Do the same thing on the right side. Again, lining it up at the top, we'll curve in towards the mouth. Now we're going to do a little overlap on the sides here. So here, I'm just going to step back, just draw a little curve, just for a little added detail. We're going to draw the bottom of the face. So the bottom of the head is going to come down to the chin right underneath the mouth. So underneath this cheek, right about here, we're going to curve. It's like a half circle going all the way across. Go up on the right side and just tuck that in underneath the cheek. From this point at the top, we're going to curve in the tops of the ear. So from this point, we're going to curve out on both sides. And we'll curve and tuck this back, back in behind the head. So up here, we'll curve in. On the right, we'll curve inwards. Let's give some inner ear detail. So inside the ear here, right about here, we're going to curve across, just following that same curve as the top. And then up here, we're going to step back a little bit, and just draw a little hook. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So up here, we're going to curve across, 
And then up here, we're going to step over and just draw a little curve. Let's draw in some fur or hair across the chin. So right where the ear meets the face, we're going to curve out. We're going to do some jagged edges that are curving across, just like we did with the eyebrow. We'll pull that back in. Do another one. And pull this back in. They can be varying length. They don't have to be the same length on either of these spikes. Pull it back in. We'll draw one more here. And we're just going to tuck this in underneath the chin. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So starting where the ear meets the face, curving out, pull it back in, out, draw two more, and one more just to balance it up as on the left. And just tuck that in underneath the chin. From this point, you want to draw in the hair. So the hair is parted in the middle, curves up, and it goes to a point on the side. So what we want to do is we want to start in the middle, in the widow's peak. So in the center of the face, in between the eyes, right up here, we're going to draw a little point. This is our starting point. I want to draw a little wave that goes out towards the left side. So from here, I'm going to curve up and out towards the left. And as I get to the side, I'm going to flare it up. We'll do the right, same thing on the right side. So curving up, going across, and then flaring that up. From here, on the cheeks, right here, we're just going to curve underneath the top of the hair. So from this point, I'm just going to curve inwards. On the right, we'll just curve around the eyebrow and go up. Now from here, we can draw in the sides of the head. So again, from that same starting point, I'm going to curve this up underneath that line on both sides. That. And draw some hair strands. So along this line, I'm just going to pull a couple lines like that. And it can be, again, varying length. So we have this balanced on either side. From here, let's go ahead and draw in the top of the hair. So this is going to curve back in towards the center here. So in the middle, we're going to go up to the top of the head. Right about here, I'm going to draw a point. This is where we want to end up. From this point, I'm going to curve out towards the left. Curving up and just flaring it up like that. Now, we want to meet up with the outside here from there, but we're going to do some little jagged curves, just like we did with the eyebrows. So I'm going to pull this back, curve that up, pull it back, and then now I want to meet up with that side there with a little curve like that. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So curving up, out towards the right, and then flicking it up at the end. Curve this back, draw a long curve going out, and pull this back in. Now I want to meet up with the side there. I'm just going to pull that up, just close off that gap. Draw some hair strands in the center. So from the middle, I'm going to curve out towards the right. Step over a little bit, just draw another one. We'll draw one tiny one on the end there. Draw the opposite on the left side here. So coming up, Moving over, going across, maybe just one tiny one on the end there. Okay, so we got the head, let's get into the body. So with the pose, I want to actually have him sort of leaping forward with the arm stretched out. So this arm is going to be dead center. It's going to be reaching out, the hand's going to be pretty big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the shoulder here. So underneath this jaw, I'm going to draw a curve. Start with a little curve like that for the shoulder. Now because the shoulder is located here, the arm is going to come across this way. So stepping back up here on the shoulder, I'm going to curve down and in. This is the back side of the forearm. Let's go to the front side. So right underneath the chin here, I'm going to draw a curve like this. This is sort of like the bicep area. We're going to do an overlap and curve down towards the wrist. Now you can see that I've got the arm coming down this way, so I want to have the hand sort of stretched out like that. So we start with the finger side first. Over here, we're going to step in, do an overlap, curving to the pinky. We're going to curve that back in. So he's got a little pointed claw. We step up and overlap it for the second finger. We're going to pull it back in. So you see they're getting wider as it comes towards the hand. Step up again, do another overlap. Now from here, from this finger, I want to curve around to the thumb. So we're just going to draw a nice curve going across like that. From the thumb point, we're going to curve this all the way back to the side of the hand here. So we're going to overlap the forearm here. We want to just curve across like that. Let's draw some fingernails or some claws. So up here on the finger, we're just going to draw a little curve just to separate the nail and the fingers across each of the fingers and the thumb. From here, I want to draw in the body. So I'm going to turn the body a little bit this way. So underneath this side, I'm going to leave a little gap. I'm going to draw just the side of the chest with a little curve like that. We're going to step up here. I'm going to curve this all the way down towards the lower torso. I want to draw in the belt and the little pants underneath. So right here, I'm just going to draw a curve for the top of the belt. Step down and just draw that same curve across. Now for this arm, I'm just going to have it kind of bent out this way. So underneath the chest line, I'm going to curve out towards the inside of the elbow. We do an overlap, curving down 
towards the hand. Let's draw in the fingers. So right here we're going to step over and draw a curve to the thumb. Now like what we did here, we're just going to curve all the way to the index finger. Curving across like that. From here we're going to curve this back up so it gets a little bit wider. We're going to step down, overlap the second finger. Now with the pinky, I want to kind of have the pinky sticking out a little bit. So we're going to step back down, curve out towards a point. I'm going to curve this back up. Now we're going to overlap and just draw the back of the arm and tuck this in underneath the face there. Let's get into the legs. So before we do that, we're going to draw in some nails here. So we're going to separate the nail and the fingers. So right here, on this finger, I'm going to curve in the opposite direction, just because it's pointing backwards a little bit. Let's go ahead and draw on this leg. So this leg I'm going to have bent up. This one's going to be bent downwards. So right here, if this is the lower torso here, the leg's going to come up this way. So I'm going to start with the curve for the top of the thigh, curving up and out. From here, we're going to curve down to the top of the feet. Now we want to layer in the toes here. So I'm going to have the toes sort of curled this way. So starting on the inside, right about here, we're going to curve like this, and we're going to pull that back. We're going to do an overlap. So we're going to step right about here. We want to intersect that line, curving over, and I'm going to pull this back. So there's a little gap there. Do this one more time. I'm going to curl down. Now this one, I'm going to pull it right into that claw. And we're going to draw the bottom of the feet. So right here, I'm going to curve the bottom of the foot. We're going to go into the heel. So we're going to do an overlap, curving all the way back and then around. We're going to do an overlap again. I'm going to curve up to the back of the knee. Then down here, we want to show the thickness of the leg. So right about here, I'm just going to draw an angled line coming down. Let's draw the leg on this side. So this one's going to be bent downwards, almost the same as this, but flipped over. So right here in the hip, and draw a curve going out. Here I want to curve down towards the ankle. Now from here I want to layer in the toes this way, but I'm going to have to draw the backside first, starting this way, and then layer in the toes behind. So right here, this is the knee, I'm going to move back, this is the back of the leg here, I'm just going to draw a little curve like that. This is going to continue down with a curve. I'm going to draw the ball of the foot, so we're going to do an overlap, curving towards the toe. Now from here I want to curve the toenail, and pull that back up. Step down for an overlap, curving down, we'll pull that back up. One final toe, we'll step down, curving down. Now we're going to pull this in behind the shin, curving that up like that. One final thing is I want to separate the claw with the feet. So just like we did with the fingers, start down here and curve around. Curl around each of the claws. Down here, I'm going to go in the opposite direction, curving downwards because the toes are pointing backwards that and there we have it there's chibi beast from the x-men i hope you enjoyed this lesson thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon